If you're just coming from my TikTok or my Instagram, buckle directly up for the story I have to tell you today. I've talked about this on my lives as soon as it happened, but I needed to make a longer video because if you didn't catch my live, you must be freaking out and like need an update. So let's give you an update. Something has happened and this is the best way that I can describe this. You never know who is watching your videos, your singing video, your self tape, your gigs, your concert performances, your friend's basement performance you put on. You never know who's gonna be in the audience. And that's something I've been told my entire life. Look, if you're gonna say yes to this concert, you're gonna show up, you're gonna be prepared, you're gonna know your lyrics, you're gonna learn the song, you're gonna figure out the choreo and how to engage with the audience and it all matters. This is just something I've had in the back of my head, right? Well, so because I've been posting my six journey, it got into the right hands and Broadway on the Boardwalk in Atlantic City, they asked me to perform alongside Six the Musical and Chicago the Musical, I was like, of course I will. In my head, I was like performing alongside the iconic Broadway musical Chicago, the musical I'm currently auditioning for, Six the Musical. I was like, of course this is worth the trip to Atlantic City and I chose my four songs with you all, iconic dream roles that I had because I believe it's all a part of manifestation. You wanna sing dream roles that you could see yourself being, again, because you never know who's watching. And like, someone was watching. So I perform at Atlantic City, Broadway on the Boardwalk. I perform my four songs. I get to meet so many of you to those who came to Atlantic City, Broadway on the Boardwalk and got to talk to me. Like we were all just in such good spirits. We love theater, we love musical theater. And it was just, it, a beautiful night of fun and singing and, and amazingness, right? So then flash forward, it's Thursday. This is crazy. I see a TikTok that is like, it's a new moon in Leo. It's the luckiest moon, this new moon in Leo. And I was like, all right, what do we do when it's a new moon in Leo? Cause I am Leo, we're not surprised. <laughs> and so I manifest, I wrote a letter that was like, dear past Diana from future Diana. And I just talked to myself as if I achieved all of my dreams and goals. And I was so excited about them. And I'm so happy that they're coming. And I just sat, I wrote it all out and I looked at it and I read it twice. And then an hour later, an hour later, I got a phone call from Broadway. This is my phone. We're using this as my phone in this area. Okay. I got a phone call from Broadway. I don't even know how I can express to you like what I was feeling in that moment. To pick up, it goes and it says the name of a casting office that casts Broadway. And I was like, hi, it's Tiana. I knew immediately what it was. I was like, this is happening this is happening this is the call i've been waiting my whole life for this is the phone call obviously i'm freaking out someone was in the audience at atlantic city broadway on the boardwalk someone saw my performance of me singing my dream roles on stage someone saw something in me and pitched me to this broadway show it's not six the musical it's not six on broadway they pitched me to another Broadway show. They loved me so much that they called me and asked my interest and availability in doing this Broadway show. Time stood still. I was like, this is it. Like, this is everything I've ever been waiting for. Like, so let me clarify, this phone call was not an offer for this Broadway show. It was just my interest and availability. So all we have to work off of right now is hypotheticals. Let's do this. Which would you choose? This is where you come in. I would love to hear any and all opinions on this, what you think. If I get six on the cruise ship and I also am asked to go through the process and get the lead in the Broadway show, what do you do? What do you do? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would love to hear your opinions, your thoughts, because that's just what I'm working with right now. Like I'm waiting as much as everyone is like for to hear if I have any offers. Both of these could not pan out. 
I feel really good about Six. I feel like I will be cast as Seymour on the cruise ship. I really, I feel that. However, in my heart and in my mind, I can't pass up Broadway. I cannot pass up, it's a lead in a Broadway show. I would wanna risk it. I think I personally would wanna risk it all. Even if it ends up I don't get both, I would wanna risk it and at least audition and at least be in the room. That will be the first time that I am ever in the room for this Broadway show that they've ever let me in the room to the audition. And I think that's the one I go for. But I know that some people are like, no, you stick with the job that comes in, you know? Anyways, these are all hypotheticals. These are all hypotheticals. That's where I'm at, guys. I'm living in a hypothetical. I will update you as soon as I know anything, as I always do. Also, as you're giving your opinions, remember to factor in that this is cruise life we're considering here. And I've already done my time on cruises. I've spent about three years of my life on cruises. And now I have an additional love of my life, Chase, that I would be leaving for six months to do this and also I don't like being away from my family and also uh last time I was on a cruise ship I had probably one of the most traumatic things in the world happen to me and I'd be going back to that specific cruise ship so just factor all of those into your uh decisions here but I cannot tell you what Broadway show this is and until we're further along in the process and they tell me that I can um because this is literally Broadway this is literally Okay, this is the update. Honestly, probably the biggest update I've ever had ever. Um, I'm so happy that you are here and watching. And if you're wondering when I would find out about Six the Musical on the cruise ship, well, <laughs> I got a text from my agent a week ago that said the latest offers would go out is August 1st. So the latest I should hear is Monday. So right now we're living in a hypothetical and we're just doing it together. <laughs> And to close out this video, I do want to announce the winner who I'm going to fly to New York to see Six the Musical with me. And it is E.C. McKenzie 3. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you for watching and for all everyone out there who's trying to be an actor, actress, wants to perform in theater in some way or perform at all. The best advice I can give you is say yes to every concert, every cabaret that comes your way that you feel you can put your best foot forward at because you never know who's watching. You never know who's watching because somebody will, you know? And they will see something in you. <sighs> okay. Love you, say it back.